Hello everyone, welcome to Mentor School. My name is Ankit and today in this uh, video we are going to understand a brief about BTP application logging service. Okay, and this is a part of DevOps and uh, normally uh, this uh, service helps you to monitor the deployed application on your environment. Okay, uh, before going ahead further just to let you know there are other videos available on other BTP services in this channel. Go ahead and uh, watch all of them and subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon. Uh, whenever we upload a new video, you will get updated. So other uh, you know videos on BTP audit log management service and alert notification service, transport management service, continuous integration, continuous delivery, BTP application log logging service, which we'll be covering today, BTP DevOps, BTP auto scaler service, and then BTP identity provisioning service, BTP identity authentication service, and uh, BTP cloud identity services, and BTP connectivity service, BTP destination service, and uh, BTP build work zone. And there are more coming uh, up in future, which you can go ahead and watch. So that's why go ahead and subscribe so that you get notification once these other videos on other services gets uploaded. So let's not delay, and we can go ahead and start with a BTP application logging service. So guys, uh, uh, it is clearly, uh, you know, uh, letting us know with its name only application logging, right? Uh, I'm really sorry on this uh, typo. It's a BTP application logging service. Okay, so it gives you log for the application which is running in your environment. Okay. So what we'll have to do is we have to uh, integrate uh, this uh, BTP application logging service with the applications running in our environments. And once you integrate uh, this BTP application logging service, they will start. It will start showing you different statistics. OK, and uh, we can uh, just quickly have a look uh, like uh, what all other what all those statistics statistics uh, it might show. So see there is a application which is deployed in my uh, environment so it stop let me start it and uh, it will start in very small application so just single web page let me show you what this does so uh, let me open this and uh, then i'll show you uh, what it does okay so this is a url how we can exit this application and uh, yeah so see it's just one single web page where maybe I'll write my name and I'll say say hello. So it's a hello Ankit, right? So this is my first uh, C of Cloud Foundry application. So now what I can do is I can bind with the application logging service what I have, OK? I can bind this application with my logging service. And then if I open the logging service, you would see different logs like how much memory it is utilizing, how much CPU, average CPU utilization, right? So a lot of uh, details, disk load, and all those things, okay? And uh, it's not just one on performance, network, traffic, errors, you know, overview, and request logs, and everything, statistics. There are a lot of different statistics it will tell you to monitor the application. And actually, this comes as a part of DevOps uh, lifecycle where it starts with development and then uh, build and then testing and then uh, malware scanning and then acceptance testing and then release then deploy once applications get deployed then your monitoring part comes as a part of devops okay so even you can go and uh, see the devops video as well available in the channel it will give you the end to understanding where this application logging service fits in in our btp devops okay mm -hmm. so this is a brief about this and uh, if you really want to learn this in detail uh, you, you know how to bind it with the application, how to subscribe it, how to launch it, how to see these statistics. Please uh, uh, reach out to us and inquire about uh, different courses we have. Like uh, if I wanted to show you that we offer BTP very detailed BTP administration training, uh, you know, uh, and then uh, BTP security in which we have application security, platform security, identity and access management for application and platform and then IDT access governance for B, uh, SAP cloud systems and on-premise systems using IAG and then uh, BTP DevOps, okay, uh, where we learn a lot of DevOps services like develop and then 
continuous integration continuous delivery deployment and then uh, monitoring with the application logging service transport management with uh, transport management service and version control with any version control system like git uh, and uh, azure repo aws commit or uh, git labs there are other tools we have for version control right so do that is for devops people but yeah right now there is no specific configuration of duties for devops so normally administrators and developers are also doing this devops task as well and but definitely once the landscape will become complex definitely we'll have a separate devops team who will manage uh, these complete devops capabilities and there is a video uh, we have in the channel you can have a look on devops what all the things uh, is a part of devops life cycle okay on btp and then btp development with cap where we can use java node.js php go ruby any of the python programming languages to develop application then we have a uh, restful web programming you know uh, where you can develop the abap based application deploy in abap uh, uh, runtime on btp okay so there is a course for that as well and then btp extension shoot where maybe you want to do uh, customize your on premise s4 hana on premise systems using abap or maybe cloud application using cap model uh, you know main, so you want to do customization you need to do extension right so there are different options you have an extension on different environments which you can do and you, if you want to learn that you can connect with us and the next course we have integration shoot all the pipu consultant and uh, who wanted to upskill them on integration shoot uh, like we have uh, uh, iflows and we have api management integration advisor and trading partner management event mess advanced event mess integration assessment all those tools if you want to learn you can go ahead and inquire about uh, this course as well and then we have build process automation this is uh, uh, for functional people uh, sap functional people and uh, it uh, let you develop uh, automation without writing code okay and uh, just for your one scenario let's say you want to do uh, you know uh, uh, perform some some repetitive task normally you do in gui right and you can record that step by step screen recording you do for your gui and then again if you want to do the same task same configuration you can just call a, a automation you can trigger automation till do for you. you don't need to do it again and again right so this is just one scenario and then you have btp build apps using which you can develop a, a full stack applications websites mobile application android application ios application without writing code okay so again these functional people also can go ahead and target this as well and then uh, we have ai on btp if someone interested to learn ai on btp then build work zone on btp one more course and then btp signavio uh, sorry sap signavio not btp sap signavio or sac or data warehouse cloud sac planning or any of cloud or on-premise courses if you're looking to learn you can reach out to us and we'll definitely be able to support and help you so i would request you go ahead and subscribe our youtube channel there are a lot of already content available on btp and these other a lot of you know services we have covered which is again available on our channel go ahead and learn from them and go ahead don't forget to subscribe so that uh, you know you get notification when we are uploading the video for further uh, btp services right just one more thing i want to uh, help you with normally how our sessions are conducted so normally we conduct uh, live sessions okay instructor led training and uh, uh, this is a one batch which we started on 6th of January 2024 and uh, uh, there are eight sessions are done for BTP administration and security. It's a combined course will go for approximately uh, 14, uh, 14 to 15 uh, sessions and we are still doing administration will cover in one session approximately then four to five sessions for security as well will go. So you see that every day of the session you get the recording of the session and then you get the uh, PPT used in that day. Then you get assignment for that day and again uh, second day and uh, you know assignment for that and then similarly for every day you get uh, the document video and assignment for each day and at the end of the course we'll run a test and it will gives you really good experience and good uh, good hands-on we'll discuss and definitely you will have a good holds on these technologies once you learn with us so that's all uh, you know uh, about us and uh, please reach out to us whenever if you need any training on btp or any other sap technologies Thank you so much for listening. I hope uh, or watching and I hope you like the videos. Uh, we'll uh, see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye.